Ever felt guilty for saying no in your relationship? Today, we're addressing that very issue. In a world where we often feel obliged to say yes, it's vital to remember that maintaining healthy boundaries is a cornerstone of any thriving relationship. And guess what? Saying no doesn't have to be a guilt-ridden ordeal. Quite the opposite. It can be an empowering tool for personal growth and mutual respect. So let's dive into 10 effective ways to express your no without the guilt. Number one, be honest and direct. There's no need to beat around the bush or sugarcoat your words. Speak your truth clearly and respectfully. Remember, it's okay to have personal boundaries and it's essential to communicate them openly. Moving on to number two, offer alternatives. When you say no, consider offering another solution. This could be a compromise or a completely different suggestion that works better for you. This way, you're not outright rejecting the person, but rather declining their specific request. Next, number three, use I statements. Instead of saying you're asking too much, try framing your response as I feel overwhelmed. These I statements express your feelings without sounding accusatory or confrontational. Remember, your feelings matter and should be communicated clearly. Moving on to number four, set priorities. It's important to let your partner understand your commitments. If you explain your priorities, your partner can better understand why you may need to say no at times. It's not about turning them down. It's about managing your own obligations and responsibilities. On to number five, be firm but kind. Saying no doesn't mean you have to be harsh. Maintain a firm stance, but always remember to be kind. Your tone and the words you choose can significantly impact how your message is received. So soften the blow with a gentle tone and empathetic words. Next, number six, practice self-care. Taking care of yourself is not selfish, it's necessary. Let your partner know that saying no sometimes allows you to be the best version of yourself. After all, when you're at your best, you can bring your best to the relationship. Declining a request doesn't mean you care less. It's about balancing your needs and the needs of the relationship. Our number seven is all about knowing your limits. Recognizing your boundaries is key. It's vital to understand what you can and cannot do, what you're comfortable with, and what crosses the line. By communicating these limits to your partner, you're setting the stage for a balanced and respectful relationship. Moving on to number eight, let's lighten the mood with humor. Saying no doesn't always have to be a solemn affair. A dash of humor can make the process less daunting. It sends the message that your refusal isn't personal, but merely a decision based on your current circumstances. Next, number nine is about expressing gratitude. Even when you're declining a request, it's important to appreciate the thought behind it. Show your partner that you value their trust by thanking them for the opportunity, even if you can't take it up right now. Saying no can be a positive experience when done with respect and gratitude. Lastly, number 10, reflect and revisit. Open communication is essential in any relationship. It's not just about saying no and closing the door. It's equally important to revisit the topic at a later time. This shows your partner that you're open to discussion and that your decisions aren't set in stone. It's a way of saying, I value your input and I'm open to revisiting this conversation when we're both ready. It's all about fostering an ongoing dialogue, creating a safe space for both of you to express your feelings and needs. Now, let's take a quick stroll down memory lane and summarize what we've discussed today. We've explored 10 effective ways to say no without guilt. These tips are all about honesty, offering alternatives, using I statements, setting priorities, being firm but kind, practicing self-care, knowing your limits, using humor, expressing gratitude, and of course, reflecting and revisiting the topic. Remember, setting boundaries isn't about pushing your partner away. It's about creating a healthy balance where both of you feel valued and respected. And there you have it. 10 ways to say no without guilt in your relationship. Each of these strategies is a stepping stone towards being healthier and more balanced. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more relationship tips. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.